he's not, the Negro is not a part of my family. As a result, I don't elect to have him sit and eat with me. As a result, I don't elect to have him belong to a club that I may belong to. I, I don't elect to... Be for Judge Obar, as for most Southern whites, out of the past has come a philosophy he calls the Southern way of life. The Negro and his place is at the heart of it. This is the way it has been. It's the history of the South. It's because we've been brought up like this. We have been taught like this. And we teach our children like this. And they'll teach their children like that. I think it is a matter that has been history all down through the years and will remain history. Well, I guess it's just plain born in us, instilled in us. Um, there, in spite of the fact that you have great respect for some Negro individuals, respect them as people, and not just as a servant. Um, there is some physical revulsion, I think, that the, the, the skin is dark. And I guess it's just something that we are so um, familiar with, it, it's just impossible, really, to overcome it. For 11 million Negroes in the South, there is also a Southern way of life. But rarely have they been asked for their interpretation. Well, uh, the white man fears this, that if the Negro get equal education, then he will be out of his reach for to do the job that he heretofore have done for him, and he figured that uh, he was going to have 